Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is um, my Premier League predictions for week 9. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So as you can tell already behind me, the first game I'm going to try to predict is Chelsea vs Man United. Um, obviously Man United a bit of dip in form. Um, they done very well in their last fixture to come back uh, from 2 0 down and win 3 2 against Newcastle. Um, Chelsea finding a bit of form now under their new manager, um, but I, st I still think Chelsea will win this game. I'll go for I'll go for a 2 0 Chelsea win. Um, you know, uh, under uh, at home with William and Hazard. You know, I think they'll go be pretty strong. Uh, team against United, and I think they got a pounce against United as well. And don't forget, Jason Rudio returns to Stamford Bridge. Uh, the next game um, is Bournemouth versus Southampton. Uh, you know, a bit of rivalry between the two clubs. Um, I'm not sure what the rivalry is or how it developed. I might look into it. If you, obviously, if you're a Bournemouth fan or Southampton fan, perhaps you could tell me as well. Um, but Bournemouth are very strong at home, um, as well as Southampton are through a dip of a season. Uh, they haven't really performed Bournemouth at home. So I'm going to go with the home win, and I'm going to go with the Bournemouth 2-0 scoreline. Um, the next one is Cardiff versus Fulham. Um, now Cardiff, yeah, have really struggled this season. Um, you know, coming up to the Prem, I don't think they invested enough. Sorry, Cardiff fans, but you know, when you come up to the Prem, you really have got to invest. Um, I mean, I looked at, um, obviously, if you don't know where I'm from, I'm from Brighton. Um, I look when we came up in the Premier League, um, you know, it's all, you know, we we have developed a lot of board, bought a lot of players from the board. Us Brighton fans didn't really know what was going on, but it all paid off. Um, but as Cardiff just got a few players in the Championship and the odd one from the board, I don't think you have done enough to stay up. My personal reasons, sorry Cardiff fan. But anyway, back to the fixture. So Cardiff Fulham, I'm going to go with a 2-1 Fulham win. The next one is Manchester City versus Burnley. Now, Man City yet again strong at home, um, playing a very okay Burnley side. They finally found their form um, with uh, Man City expected to win the Premier League now it, well, it's, it's, predicted, uh, it's predicted to go between City and Liverpool even at this early stage um, can I see Burnley overdoing City at the Etihad I can't see it so for this one City win 3-0 the next one, and yeah, it is my local team. Obviously, I'm doing all the fixtures again. Um, it's Newcastle versus Brighton. Now, with Brighton overturning West Ham just before the international break, and when I mean overturn, I mean we beat West Ham. Um, yeah, again, I expected how we expected to play to bounce off the wings. Um, and obviously, Glenmore is up for his 100th goal as well. Um, you know, I'd like to see, I would like to see at home to uh, celebrate with the fans, but if it don't happen, then it don't happen. Um, and yet again, I've, I've said this in the video, Newcastle lost 3-2 to, to um, Man United. I was going to turn them up, now that is sloppy. Um, so, even though I say this time and time again, I do this from a natural fans point of view. I'm going to go for a Brighton win. And I'm going to go with a 2-0 scoreline. Um, you know, it's, it is tough. And these games are important to Brighton. 
and as well. So that's why I've gone with that scoreline. Um, the next one I just mentioned them: um, West Ham versus Tottenham. Um, now, West Ham, as I've just said, lost to Brighton. Uh, obviously, I beat United. A drew against Chelsea at home. But I think Tottenham will go over turn and I think that defeat to Brighton is going to slightly knock your confidence down. So I'll go with a 3 0 Tottenham scoreline. Um, you know, Tottenham, they came down here, they did make us look a bit uh, off. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got with that scoreline. The next game is Wolves versus Watford. Now, I've always called Watford the dark horses of this season. I still will, even though they've gone down a bit. Uh, you know, I think teams have finally started to beat them, might knock them down a bit. But I'm still going to call them the dark horses of this season against a very good Wolves side. Um, now, with Wolves and Watford, you know, with Wolves obviously got expected to win this game, but can I see them actually doing it at home? And the answer is... I'll go no. I, I reckon it's going to be a 2-1 Watford win. Um, you know, laugh at that if you will. I just think the expectations is going to be a bit too much for the Wolves players. Um, the next game is Huddersfield versus... Liverpool um, now Huddersfield yet again another dip Premier League team this season um, versus a very good Liverpool side Liverpool drawn to City and um, they do well at, away from home Liverpool on the clock uh, you know fair enough the guy the guy makes me laugh the Liverpool manager uh, and David Wacken is probably feeling the, the pressure by now like if we don't win soon when we get the sack. So with that one, I'm going to go with a Liverpool win and I'm going to go with a 2 0 scoreline. The next one is Everton versus Crystal Palace. Now, yeah, again, I do say this because obviously it's Brighton's rivals. Um, now, I do understand why they are rivals, but as I've said, I do this from a neutral fan's point of view. Um, with Everton, go away to Everton, um, I think I just said it, Everton versus Palace. So, with this one, I'm going to predict it an Everton win. That's nothing to do with the rivalry, I just think Everton are strong at home. So, with that one, I'm going to go with a 1-0 scoreline to Everton. Now, the last game is Arsenal versus Leicester at the Emirates Stadium. Now, Arsenal, yet yeah, again, starts to pick up form under their, um, under their manager, um, in not Emery, sorry for the mismatch name. And Leicester, a, you know, a bit 50-50. So with this one, I'm gonna cut this video short. I'm gonna go with an Arsenal win, uh, with a 2-0 scoreline. So guys, all the pictures you see behind me, let me know if you'd rather see them inside the stadium or out. Uh, put it down in the comments below. Guys, leave this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed my predictions. Um, guys, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Check it out.